Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, March 28th. The time is 1.18 p.m. and it's about five degrees Celsius right now. And there's a look over at the South Core District and Ripley's Aquarium right next to the CN Tower. And just on my left here is the Sky Dome, which is currently undergoing a rather extensive renovation. I think baseball season is right around the corner. And I plan on taking a walk that goes along the Northern Linear Park, which is just to the west of the Sky Dome on the north side. That'll lead me into the City Place neighborhood. And then I'll make my way back over to this area through the Southern Linear Park. And these are two narrow parks that run east-west, just to the west of where I am now. And off in that direction is John Street. And I don't think I've ever checked out Northern Linear Park, or at least not the side that is to the east of Spadina Avenue. This store is closed during the off season. Well, that won't be for long. And there is an up express train making its way back from Pearson International Airport. And the Sky Dome has a Marriott Hotel built into it. And you can get rooms that overlook the plane surface. And back in the early 90s, before it was branded a Marriott, I think it was just called the Sky Dome Hotel back then. My grandparents got a room there. And I remember watching the game and thinking it was pretty neat. I think the part I liked the most <laughs> was just watching them or watching them set it up for the game that night, as well as taking everything down. There's another look at the rail corridor. So this Northern Linear Park should begin just on the other side of Blue Jays Way here. There's the fan art. That was pretty popular when the Sky Dome first opened up. I remember going to a game and seeing Kevin Pillar, who was the center fielder at the time, whipping through here on an e-scooter. is the trail down there. So it runs for about four blocks along the rail corridor. I 
And these condos here are part of City Place. And the first ones to open up, I think, were completed back in 2003, if I'm not mistaken. And since then, there's been over 30 buildings erected. And these two here on the left, going up, are the final two. I think they're called Canada House, and they'll be at 59 and 69 stories. But let's head down to the Linear Park. And City Place was built by Concord Attics, a Vancouver-based developer. And building this park was part of the deal they made with the city. There's the GO train rolling in. Another go train. So originally that rail corridor was much bigger. And it used or it was used by CP Rail and Via Rail. It is pretty much Canada's version of Amtrak. Going back to the 60s, they started moving their operations out of the downtown core. And the need for such a wide rail corridor has decreased over the years, and that is what opened up the opportunity to build this city place neighborhood. And thus we ended up with this linear park I'm walking on. On through. It's been a long day, I know it's only 1.26. I am currently at 15,900 and, oh, 16,000 steps. I walked my, way, <laughs> I can't even pronounce words correctly. I walked my way down from Young and Eglinton doing a live stream. And that connection cut out just at the University and College, and then I recorded a walking video down to where I started this one. So it's been a lot of non-stop walking today. And I have just crossed Spadina Avenue. And believe it or not, before City Place was constructed, Just to the left of me here, when this was old rail corridor spot or space, there was a mini driving range in this area. That was pretty neat.
just over there is Front Street. And that project is called The Well. It's been neat watching that one go up. And our previous mayor propo proposed what he called Rail Deck Park. That was a big park that would have covered up the rail corridor. And it would have cost nearly $4 billion. Definitely would have been a legacy defining project. It looks like there's plans to cram a 70 story building in this area. That plan never really got off the ground. Much like most of his ideas, it stayed put on a napkin. And speaking of Via Rail, I think as part of one of these upcoming condo developments, there are plans to make a much smaller version of that park. This pedestrian bridge here is called Puente de Luz, or Luz, L-U-Z. I'm sure I've <laughs> butchered another name once more. And that was built by Concord Attics, the developer behind City Place. That was also a requirement put in by the city that they had to build this crossing. And that opened up in 2011. And just in the south here is Canoe Landing Park. I'll be walking along that as I make my way back towards the CN Tower through Southern Linear Park. So this is very much a new part of town. I think in total there's around 12,000 residential units in City Place, housing about 21,000 residents. I've also seen a library in there, a school, and a community center. You can see a lot of GO trains parked, waiting for the late afternoon rush hour service to begin.
There goes that train making its way back up to the airport. And they are diesel trains, that's why it's a bit noisy. And this is Bather Street just up ahead. On the other side of Bathurst is Fort York, a National Historic Site and an old military base used to fend off those pesky Americans. And this is it, the end of the Northern Linear Park. Let me just snap a picture from here. Now we'll walk south down whatever this street is. Queens Wharf Road. This doesn't seem to be one of those neighborhoods that will age gracefully, in my opinion. There's a lot of glass boxes and not a lot of character in these buildings, at least not at street level. This is Housie Street just up ahead. There's the elevated Gardner Expressway. I don't know if this is considered part of the Bentway or not. A public space under the Gardener to the west of here. I guess it is an underpass park. Not all parks <laughs> get sun. But I think there's plans to keep extending this further east over towards Spadina. So 
So this is Canoe Landing Park just on the left. And this trail becomes Southern Linear Park, at least by name, once you cross Spadina. There's a community center and a public school. And I'll look over at the gardener. I think that's supposed to be the signature element of City Place. There was originally a tower called Signature Tower, which was supposed to buy to be one of the tallest residential buildings in the city. I remember seeing renderings of it, but Concord Attics never went through with it. I think this is Jean Lum Public School. Named after a Chinese Canadian. And I think she was a famous restaurant owner. There's someone down there, sadly. That was Terry Fox on that picture. You certainly catch some neat views walking along these trails. This is Spadina Avenue. Hi, 
do not know what that was. And this is kind of stupid. There's no real way to cross without going south of those lights in that direction. I guess that's the closest way. We're going all the way up to Port York Boulevard to the north. So I want to go over there. And maybe I didn't pick the <laughs> smartest route. But there's no east-west crossing on this side. all the streetcar traffic running down the median. It's not a very good idea to try to play some Frogger. a very long light cycle. That is Lake Ontario, just to the south of here. Run, pedestrian. You're not wanted in these parts. No traffic going straight through. Oh, here we go, that would have been. Not the worst time to go for it and just cross. These traffic lights aren't even operational. Sure, it's taking me a long time <laughs> just across the street.
and you got to be really careful crossing this little stretch. So all of that to get from just over there to here. So this is officially at least Southern Linear Park. And holy cow, look at this. There's all kinds of suitcases and luggage ripped open. I think all these parked cars belong to construction workers. the sky dome. And this is it, the end of Southern Linear Park. just kind of spits you out into a parking lot. Welcome to Enway's Deep Lake Water Cooling Facility.
and this is Bremner Boulevard. That car was being honked at, but the driver wasn't turning because I was in the crossing. There's the rec room and roundhouse on the right. And I started just over there. And I see a bench with my name on it. So on that note, I hope you enjoyed this one, walking around City Place along the Northern Linear Park and then down to the Southern Linear Park. And back to around where I started this one. Let me know your thoughts and comments down below. And if you wish to support the channel, there's links to my Patreon and YouTube channel membership in the description. I have an Instagram account at Johnny Strides. And there is a super thanks button appearing below these videos if you wish to say thanks that way. Anywho, thank you for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Yoink.